Hey guys and welcome to Rose's Scale. So today I'm opening up a big challenge, a challenge for myself and for you subscribers to determine the best AI writing tool that currently exists on the market. I would also like to review a side project I've been working on. The site is called writerwatch.ai and it's the industry's first directory dedicated to AI writing tools solely. You have two major selling points or point of differences that differentiate this directory from all the other directories. First, you finally can filter down your preferred AI writers based on a specific feature. And then you also have a rating, which is a composite index. And I'll go into the exact calculations later. Also, you'll be able to read a short review and get a writing sample. To get a writing sample, you need to be subscribed to my free Writer Watch newsletter. Not only do you get the writing samples, but you will also get my outline Genius GBD, which is a paid product completely for free. So, as you can see, uh, this directory is being filled out and it currently consists of six AI writing tools, Agility Writer, Autoblogging.ai, Harvard SEO, Journalist.ai, Koala AI, and SEO Writing.ai. The way it's structured, again, you get a very short description that is nothing generic, but pertains to the exact selling proposition or unique feature of a specific tool. So, for example, Agility Writer has new writing integration, Autoblogging has the one-click SEO optimization, uh, same as Neurowriter or Surfer SEO. Harbor SEO can do keyword research and infographics. Journalist AI is one of the only AI tools that does content syndication. Call Writer has magnets and chat features and SEO writing passes torrenting and it's one of the more humanized AI writers out there. And each feature has a corresponding icon for your convenience. Then, obviously, you can read a specific review, which has been specifically written in a very short format. You can subscribe to to my newsletter here. If I have a deal going on, you get a notification here. But where this directory shines, it's again in the features. So if you wanted to see all the AI writing tools, you click on all. But then let's check them one by one. So let's say I'm only interested in the tools that have a brand voice feature. And th this is where Agility Writer comes in handy. And brand voice is not the same as tone of voice. So all these AI writers have the tone of voice feature. But to my knowledge, at least out of these six, only Agility Writer has the brand voice, something that can be trained on your data. Then, for example, Constant Syndication, only Journalist AI out of these six has Content Syndication. External Linking, all of them have External Linking, Humanized Text. Again, this is a feature that is prominently featured, no pun intended, in Agility Writer and SEO Writing. All of them have Image Creation, obviously, but Infographics. This is where Harbor SEO shines. This is the only tool currently that does that. Uh, same with Keyword Research, Journalist AI AI has a keyword research feature, same as Harbor SEO. Again, some of them, but not all, have SEO optimization features. Some of them have video to article, and most of them have YouTube embeds. So this is the way it works. And I must preface this by saying that I've been trying to be as objective as possible. I wanted to limit the human factor or the human bias that it does not impact my judgment. So I will straight up show you the calculation method. Uh, right now it's very simple. I've decided to test all of them based on a single keyword for now. And this keyword is AI impact on jobs in 2024. The reason I chose this keyword is that I wanted the AI writers to demonstrate statistics and data. Uh, I wanted to have a topic that is somewhat recent and that is not biased towards a very, very specific niche like relationships, for example, or crypto. And uh, the way it goes, you have your A copywriting software, your, the mode that is being used. Then I'm measuring the SEO score with NeuroWriter, then readability score with Hemingway, then A detection score. And I have switched from originality 2.0 to zero GBD because I think this is the most accurate AI detector out there. And then the quality score. Again, the quality score, I've tried to stay as objective as possible. And I have a prompt that I'll show you in a second. Uh, then you have uh, different weights. Again, uh, this probably where my bias comes in, but I do feel like the quality is one of the most important reasons for ranking. Then SEO score is uh, again, very important. So less important are readability and AI detection scores. Then you get the overall score and then you get the YouTube rating and 
social rating. And the way it works, I'm basically, I'm using a prompt to ask Perplexity first based on the YouTube videos, what people think about the tool. Then I'm doing the same for Reddit. And as you can see, Reddit has been more critical than YouTube. And this is understandable because many YouTube videos are biased, containing affiliate links. They are not 100% objective. But Reddit users do not have any reason to be deceitful or misinformed on purpose at least. So I'm measuring the rating. And so these are variables that are dynamic, and this is a variable that is static. And then I'm adjusting everything to a one single rating. And this is the way it goes. And let me just show you one of the prompts that I'm using for assessing the quality of content. Let's go to perplexity. This is a prompt. Uh, let's just choose an article from another AI writer. And I've actually thought long and hard about the prompt. Uh, if you know me, you know that I hate long prompts. I think they don't work as well as shorter prompts. And this is basically what I'm asking Perplexity to do. You are tasked with evaluating the quality of an article based on specific criteria. You will be provided with the article text and the keyword associated with it. Your goal is to analyze the article thoroughly and provide scores and explanations for each criterion. The main keyword associated with this article is does agility writer pass AI detection? Um, obviously in my testing I used another keyword which is AI impact on jobs. Now evaluate the article based on the following criteria and this is the criteria that I think are important for me when assessing or evaluating the quality of the content. Search intent alignment, evaluate how well the article addresses the search intent. Introduction quality, assess whether the introduction is short to the point and effectively hooks the reader, because many A writers they're very sinful of this, so you get these huge introductions with fluff all over them. Then direct answer provision, uh, determine if the article contain, contains a direct answer to the reader's question early in the content. So you basically want to address that search intent and answer the question very early in the article. Statistical relevance, evaluate whether the article includes or references relevant statistics or data to support its points. After evaluating all criteria, provide an overall assessment of the article's quality and a final score from 0 to 10 with decimals. And I guess the subjective part is uh, the prompt itself and the way it's structured because it's based on my understanding, but I deliberately am not passing my own judgment. So basically, I'm asking Perplexity to do that. And as you can see, the article is scored as follows. Search intent 9 out of, out of 10. Introduction quality 8 out of 10. Direct answer provision 9 out of 10. Statistical relevance 7 out of 10. And the overall assessment is 8.3 out of 10. And this is where the quality score comes from. And I'm still working on this. This is work in progress. But in the upcoming videos, I will do several reviews for each of these six AI writers. And this is going to be a growing directory. I think it's going to be 25, 30 tops. But they will all be tested, evaluated thoroughly. And again, if you like some of the features, for example, some of the features are placeholders. Uh, for example, research papers and essays. I know that there are some AI writers that are focused on that, that are built for that. Again, books and novels. I know there are tools like Novel AI, for example, that are built for that. So there are some placeholders for the future AI writers. And again, this comes with the uh, Writer Watch AI newsletter. You get the Outline Genius GPT for free. And basically every week I'll be sharing my copywriting tips and tricks. I'll be brushing you up on the news related to AI writers. Sometimes a tool like Harbor SEO, for example, comes in and uh, makes a dance, so to speak, in the competition uh, because it's very unique. I want you to stay in the loop and use the best tools possible. So that's it. Go check out writerwatch.ai, subscribe to my newsletter, test the directory. And again, I will be reviewing in each of these tools in the upcoming videos. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.